Is this the next piece of gear that will be in every creator's bag? It's small, it's mobile, and it's taking your place of the current smoke machines. I love shooting with as little gear as possible, and I took the Genie on set with me to see how it holds up on a full day of shooting to test the features and push it to the limits. Let's dive straight into it. The reason I chose to make a coffee film to showcase this product is because coffee is hot. With the roasting process, a lot of heat is involved, and with the preparation of coffee, a lot of steam. So in the film, everything looks very natural, and it's even difficult to spot where the smoke was used. And if you haven't seen the film yet, you can just click on the link. So this is what I loved about the Genie. It's really small, and it comes in this beautiful hard case. The batteries lasted me the whole day. I was really skeptical about the Genie's battery life, but made sure to have an extra charger on set. It takes no time heating up. You can turn it on and immediately produce smoke under 10 seconds. This comes handy when everyone is ready to roll and you can immediately start filming. The Smoke Genie is highly customizable and you can adjust the smoke parameters to perfectly fit the needs of the scene. To take it up even one more level, they developed a nozzle that turns the smoke consistency into low-lying smoke that stays there for two to three minutes without ventilation. This is probably the feature that I use the most because this completely replaces dry ice for product photography or setting up of props. You also don't need a safety officer on set anymore and also you don't have to order the dry ice. I had a very specific idea for the opening of the film. I wanted the green beans to layer from the top and then it bursts into these smoky roasted beans. For this, I oversmoke the roasted bean with low hanging smoke and have it settle in the beans before I slap it from below. The reason it hangs low is because the smoke is a newly developed glycerine compound that is non-toxic and food safe. When the smoke goes through the nozzle, it also cleaves to anything and makes it much easier to film since it does not disappear immediately. In the following shots, it helped a lot. When we made it look as if the beans get released from the roaster, at the end of the film, where we faked the heat in the cup. I really liked how this came out with a little squeeze. I don't even know why I'm listing all of these. I literally use them everywhere. The general feel of the product is great. It feels as if the creators thought ahead and knew what the content creators out there wanted. For instance, they included a battery powered fan that you can use to thin out the smoke to a light haze. Included is also a remote control that makes it much easier operating the Genie when you are shooting by yourself or your assistant's job when he has to handle the genie. The only comment that I have is, it does not replace a traditional hazer or a smoke machine. It takes a lot of time to really smoke up a whole room and thus recommend purchasing a smoke genie for product sets or very small spaces. It is possible and completely doable, but I would not say it is the most effective way to use it. In conclusion, this is a really great piece of gear and I highly recommend getting yourself one of these. It simply transforms the world of product, videography and photography. And just to end it off, thank you to Landscape Gear that supplies the Smoke Genie in South Africa for trusting me to push it to its limits and for Dirk Detoy from Balanced Coffee Roast Tree that put it all its time and effort into making this short film happen. And then lastly, um, the crew, Ewald Verstaar, uh, on BTS and Roy Harris on um, Gaffer. Cheers guys.